Uganda School Project, which forms part of the broader Community Adaptation Plan program. Communities are important and have to deal with climate change impacts firsthand. It is therefore important that we assist these communities in adapting to climate change. The focus of this project is water and enhancing the use of water at Luganda School to benefit the surrounding community. Climate change will change the way rain falls in the future. In Durban, we'll experience more heavy downpours of rain, and hence capturing this water is essential. Projects like these are important in ensuring that communities can cope with climate change in the future. Before the project began, the community food garden and other food gardens in the area did not have enough readily accessible irrigation water, as well as the fact that after heavy downpours of rain, the school grounds were being eroded and the school was often flooded. As you can now see, school banks have been stabilized with indigenous plants and vetiver grass. The school grounds have been improved with a dedicated playing area for the school children. Storm water has been redirected and this has reduced the flooding of the lower school building. The storage capacity of the rainwater harvesting tanks has been increased and thus community members now have more than enough water for irrigation of the community food garden and other community gardens. Here at the Laganda School we also have a pyramid food garden so it's about reusing old tyres to grow food crops in the actual tyres themselves so it's about reuse and also about food crops and you can see the shape which is a pyramid shape allows water conservation so you essentially pour water in from the top and it percolates right through to all the crop species so we've got a food garden we're recycling tyres and we're also conserving water before here in Temba Lille, uh, primary school, we're having a, a problem with our uh, 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 grounds. So we found some help. They tried to put some uh, 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 tires so that the floods cannot come in in the, in the classroom. We used to have a problem before because here where I am, this is great for a, a, a classroom. When uh, it's raining, all the floods, they used to come in front of the, of the door. We couldn't manage to get into the class. The school would be disturbed if it's raining. So we used to go out and call the community to come and help us uh, to take out the, 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 the mud. Even the kids, they used to help us with that. But after we've got uh, uh, the crowds, as you see, outside, now we are, it's okay. Even if it's windy by the time it was not here, we teachers, when you go back home, you will see that even your hair as if you are from the, the bushes. But now we are fine, we are able to go to the bank when you are coming from, from school because we are kids. This project demonstrates how community level climate protection planning and common sense can enhance the lives of community members in a tangible way. Okay.